All right, what's up guys? My name is Reese Jones and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on the beautiful destinations slide intro text effect. So let's take a look at it right now. Looks very good, looks very smooth, clean, you know, just looks looks nice overall. Big fan, big fan personally. Uh, so we'll just close out of this. Now I will say I, when I first started trying to make this video for myself or tutorial for myself, I was looking at a couple of tutorials on YouTube and they all created something a little bit like this. All right, so it doesn't look very good. It looks very linear, um, just not smooth. You know, it doesn't have that same feel as the Beautiful Destinations one. So uh, through some experimentation, through a lot of experimentation, a lot of time, I uh, came up with this. So it's, 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 it's smooth. It looks nice. Uh, play for you guys again. You know, it's very, just looks, looks good. Looks, looks smooth. So we're going to jump into Adobe After Effects, open up or click a new composition. I'm going to just call mine tutorial <coughs> and go to 24 frames per second, five seconds long. Seems about right. First thing you want to do is create a new layer of text. Okay. So I'm just going to call it tutorial. Nope. I cannot. Oh, there it is. Uh, and just drag that like to the middle or so. That was, looks about right. And yeah. Next thing you want to do is you want to create your, you know, your backslash, you know, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, personally, I'm going to keep it at a backslash just for the sake of continuity. And you can, but you, again, you can make it whatever you want. You know, it could be, you saw mine was a, a camera icon, so you can make it anything you want. Okay. So that's what we want to look like in the end right there. Okay. That's our final product. Okay. So we're going to go to about, I'd say that's about a little bit more than you know, that's about 20 frames, 20 frames in. Okay. Just zoom in so we can see that we're going to go to tutorial. We're going to go to rectangle tool up here. So that's masking. I'm going to click right here and just create a nice to nice mask around the word tutorial. Okay. So then we're going to go to back to tutor tutorial, click, click M, bring up mask. I'm going to keyframe the mask path. You want to go back to the beginning of the, the composition. You want to drag the mask over so you can't see the worst tutorial anymore. So that just looks like something like that. Very smooth, very casual. Here we're gonna go up to the backslash. You wanna click P for position. Uh, Keyframe the position, go to the beginning and drag it out. So tip I learned is that what you can do is go to tutorial and just click inverted on the mask. So you can see exactly where the text ends. So, you know, just to keep that. So then you wanna de-click inverted so that it doesn't you know, go away. Um, now, so what you want to do now is click all of these uh, here. So you want to go about maybe 10 frames forward is what I did. And you want to click this little diamond shape all the way to the left and that'll make a new keyframe. Okay, so what that's going to do is make sure that this keyframe doesn't, uh, so that it doesn't move at all. We go out. So you want to go back to the beginning. You want to Command C if you're on a Mac. You want to go about to maybe two seconds in, and you want to Command V to paste that uh, to paste the location. So if you see it goes there and it goes back, do the same thing. You want to Command C, Command V, and just drag that over to right here. Okay. So if we just watch through this, doesn't look very good, right? <laughs> it looks it looks like it looks like the uh, it looks like this. Um, not good at all. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to click on mask path. So all of them get clicked. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. You want to do one more time. Click here, go here, keyframe velocity. Drag both these all the way up to 100. All right? And then you want to go do the same thing right here. Keyframe assistant, keyframe velocity. Drag both these all the way up to 100. Okay, and then so you'll see is looks very smooth. You want to do the same thing up here. Okay, so you want to select those two, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go back here, keyframe velocity, go all the way up to 100 on both. All right, so then you'll see that looks nice to start, but at the same time, the back does not, doesn't look very good. So you're going to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. You're going to do this a lot, trust me. Keyframe velocity. Drag it all the way up to 100. Okay. Now if we play through, so click 
and to close the workspace, that looks really nice. Okay, so that looks really good. So, so what you want to do here now is, or what I would recommend doing is getting a adjustment layer. So I did Command Alt Y to create a new adjustment layer. You can also go to Layer New Adjustment Layer, whatever works for you. All right, then you want to go to Effects and Presets. Type in Fill. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Type in Transform. All right, drag that on and go to scale you want to click keyframe scale and what i did was just went to about two in so it looks the same but you want to go click it to 120 120 uh like scale so then you'll see it gets a little bit bigger so you can play around with that you know make it you know you can make it way bigger have it get you know huge as time goes on that looks pretty cool or you can have it get smaller so then it gets to like 75 all right which i like that personally it's completely up to you all right, so now what you want to do is go over it. So now that we're, this is like the done with the basic tutorial. So if you want to stop watching, go ahead. But I would recommend, I'm going to show you some things that you can play around with, mess around, make this your own with, okay? So you're going to go to effects and presets, type in fill, just click it on to the backslash. And you're going to type in hue, H-U-E, hue and saturation, okay? So then what, you, what you're going to want to do is go over to click P so you can see where the keyframes are. Close that. All right, you're gonna, you don't need any of these. Your key here is you're gonna click on colorize. Okay, so if you see colorize, watch. Okay, you click colorize, de-click it, it's, it's hard red. Colorize is like much softer, nicer red. You wanna keyframe colorize hue at zero. You wanna go to the first keyframe, bring that up to one. Go to the second keyframe, bring it up to zero. Then you're gonna go to the last keyframe and you wanna bring that back up to one. So if you go through, nothing changes, all right? Nothing changes, okay? But when you play through, the colors all change, looks pretty good. What I would recommend is close that, just select both of these, Command C, go ahead and put them on tutorial as well. And what you have is something like this. You know, the colors change as they go. Looks pretty nice, looks pretty solid. I, I like that a lot. Um, now because, so this file has a transparent background, so when you render it out, don't put a background. See, just nothing back there. All right, so what you can do is if you drag in, you know, I'm going to just bring up a random video, drag this in here, all right, go about this far in, put on the bottom, okay, so when when I play through, you know, we you don't have to do this, we'll just fix this by here and then, bang. So it's something like that. So then you play through it. That looks pretty nice, right? That looks really cool, actually. I'm a big fan of that. So you see how the the tutorial and the, the intro text goes over. That's what they did in the Beautiful Destinations video. That's what you see a lot of these people doing. Um, it's completely up to you, whatever you guys want to do. Just make it your own. I, if you guys make something your own, comment, it, uh, comment a link to it. I'm going to check it out. I would love to see what you guys do with it. If you guys have any questions, please comment, ask your questions, whatever you guys need. If I was went too fast, I'll do my best to help out. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Reese K Jones. I'm going to put the link in the description. So it'll be down there. If you guys want to uh, check on my Instagram, follow me there. DM me if you have any questions, whatever. Um, comment what you guys want for the next tutorial. I'll be dropping tutorials every Friday. Uh, so I haven't made a tutorial besides this one in about three years. It's been a while. Um, but this effect inspired me to make them again. So if you guys have any questions, any tutorials that you want to see, um, just comment it and I can do my best to make it happen. If you guys have any like scene effect in a video that you guys watched on YouTube and you guys want to see it, comment it. I'm going to do my best to break it down. But with that, I really, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do whatever you want to do. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down down below or you can just follow me on Instagram and DM me there. I'm more likely going to respond to that quicker than I am the, the DMs uh, or the comments. But whatever it is, if you have any questions, comment anything you want to see in the future. Uh, once again, new strolls every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching, sticking around this whole time. Uh, you guys are great and have a good day.